Hello and welcome to 101 Code. My name is Moaz Nashali. If you like our videos, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can get all the new updates. In this video, we're going to talk about filters in Spring Boot application and in general filters in Java server. What is filters? Filters is the way or, or mechanism uh, to intercept the client request on web applications and do some logic and then uh, send the response back to the client. So, in general speaking, it's the filter is like a wall standing between the client request and the client response. We can do some logics once we intercept the request from the client. So, without any further ado, let's see this in action. So, in this video, we're gonna see how we can add filters to Spring Boot uh, web application. And to uh, first uh, understand what is filters, filters is a mechanism used to alter or change the response of a web page before the response are sent to the client without touching any existing code of the web application. So filter is acting as the wall you can see here in the picture. Once the client send a request, uh, the, fil the request before it get to the servlet, a uh, filter will intercept this request and make them some modification. So the filter mechanism, are, as we said, used to alter or change the response of a web page before the response are sent to the client. So for example, if we uh, implement the uh, security, the Spring Web security in our Spring uh, Boot application, uh, a filter will be set here uh, to intercept the request of the client and the request and uh, ask for uh, authentication. You can see, uh, for example, if you try to uh, browse on a page and you're not logged in, you're going to be redirected to the login form page. So let's see how we can add this filter to the, our Spring uh, Boot application. Uh, we have here uh, the application that we are created from uh, previous videos. It's a simple application and we have uh, one mapping here, one uh, REST controller which is directing to home. Let's try to run this project. Uh, it's running now on uh, port 8080. If we go now to the local host and we go to the page home, we can see hello from home page. So we have this uh, REST controller. Let's try start to implement a filter. How you can implement a filter? You implement a filter by just creating a new class and implement the fil filter from the servlet uh, uh, package. So let's create a new class. Let's call it custom, custom filter. This custom filter should implement the interface of filter from uh, the Java X servlet. Once you implement it, there is some uh, method you need to put, which is do filter. And in do filter here, uh, we're going to see how this filter start working. In order to see how this filter start working, let's put some logging. Let's define a logger from SLF4G log and from logger factory dot get logger and we give it the class dot class this only to get some logs here so now this is the filter here the do filter will intercept any request from the user and it will just uh, intercept and uh, modify and then resend, resend again <clears throat> so look we're gonna print something when the filter is working, this is the filter working. Or let's say uh, request intercepted. Intercepted. OK. Now, if we try to rerun our project, you can see now we don't have any uh, interception because we didn't call the URL yet. But if we went to the URL and we call it uh, because uh, we forget to put at component in here and with the annotation at component, let's rerun again. 
And now, if we revisit the web here, you can see that we're getting request intercepted. However, as you can see, we didn't get the response here. Why? Because this filter, once intercept the, the request, is not going to proceed until you give the order to proceed again. And you can give the order to proceed again with uh, the filter chain here. So you say filter chain dot do filter and you give it the request which is the servlet request and the response which is the servlet response now if we rerun our project and we refresh now you can see that we get the page and in the same time we get request intercepted so everything is working now what if uh, you can worth to mention that you can set however uh, unlimited the custom filters as much as you want but how is the orders gonna go so let's do another one custom let's call it custom filter two and uh let me duplicate this one so we don't have to write again so uh, custom filter two now we have another filter which is custom filter and let's call it request intercepted from filter two now, if we run, rerun our project, and revisited the beige home, you will see here that we have request intercepted and uh, request intercepted from filter two. However, if you want to set the order of execution, you can do that with the annotation order. So this is the custom filter too. If I wanted to do it to go first, I'm going to give it the number one. And the first, uh, which is a custom filter, I'm going to give it order number two. Now, if we re rerun the project again, and we visited the page again, as you can see here, the response now the filter 2 is executed before the filter 1 so that's how you add a filter to your spring boot uh, web application in next video we're going to talk about more about uh, spring boot features until then if you like our videos don't forget to comment like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can get all the new updates